Boom. Check it out. Boop, 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 boop. Shit. It's Wes. Welcome to this video. Today, today we're going to talk about this lens, which is the Viltrox RF85 1.8, f1.8 lens. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I know you're busy. I recommend this lens and I'm going to tell you why. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. All right, so usually I talk about um, use, performance, and price. That's my framework uh, for deciding whether gear is worth it or not. But before we do that, I wanna jump in and kind of compare this to a few other RF85 lenses. Now, there is a Samyang and there is a Rokinon. I'm not gonna talk about those. I'm just gonna compare this Viltrox to the Canon uh, RF f1.2 and the RF f1.8. And so um, I think it compares favorably, but we're gonna talk about why, because those two Canon lenses are light years apart. One's 599 and one's 2799. So this one at 399 comes in as the most affordable option of those. And actually the Rokinon and, and Samyang are 599 and 579. So this is the most uh, affordable RF 85 out there. So let's talk about what we know about this lens. Now, um, one of the things you're gonna want with an RF 85 or an 85 millimeter lens in general is that separation from the background, the nice creamy bokeh, the, the shape. They all have the Canon, the two Canons in this one, nine rounded or circular um, aperture blades. And so they're similar in that regard. In terms of weight, this one is about a pound. The RF F2 is about a pound. But the RF 1.2 is 2.6 pounds, so it's very, very heavy. This one is solidly constructed. It feels great in the hand. It feels hefty. Um, compared to the cheap or the budget RF lenses, like the 60 millimeter, this feels plasticky, whereas the Viltrox feels nice and solid. It's a fast lens with relatively low aperture, but the question is, is it any good? I already said I recommended it. So let me tell you why. Now, one thing to remember is the F2 from Canon is a macro. So you have a much closer focusing distance. I think it's around a foot, whereas uh, this Viltrox is about two and a half feet as uh, the same as or very similar to the RF uh, from Canon, the, the 1.2. Uh, so you have to be about three feet away to focus on that. So keep that in mind. Uh, the, the macro from Canon, the F2, also has image stabilization ostensibly to help you stabilize those macro shots. This does not have stabilization. And the $2,800 one from Canon, the F1.2, does not have stabilization either. So that's interesting. You're paying all that money, but you don't get stabilization. All right, so let's talk about use. We use this for portraits. That's a typical use for 85 millimeter. And so I use this for the school district um, photo campaign that we did that I mentioned in the last video, and it performed great. I, I think it nailed every single shot. It's very fast, responsive. Um, I loved how the colors came out. I loved how uh, the subjects looked. Um, but what was surprising to me is I went to a town hall meeting for my community. A uh, local city council member had invited me to document it and I thought I was going to take photos. And when I arrived, I found it was outside and they had some like string lights lighting it up, but it was dusk and it was getting darker. And I realized I was going to really have limited opportunity for photo. And I had this lens and because everything else that I was carrying was more wide and because this lens was the most telephoto lens I had, I threw this on for video as well. And so here you can see some examples um, how it captures video. I was really amazed the autofocus for video was spot on. The stabilization actually with the R5 stabilization seemed really good. And I was really, really happy with the outcome. So I actually would recommend this for video work too. I think it's a, it separates from the background very, very nicely. And I was very surprised. I wouldn't have said I bought this for video, but I know I can recommend and it performs for video as well. So you would use it for portraits. Yes, it could also do video and uh, it performs well for both of those. Now, because it was dark, I had the ISO cranked high, but I found that the lens uh, focused easily. Uh, at one time I switched to the 16 mil to try to get a wider shot. And I found that that lens, um, Canon 16 mil, I'm really not settled on this lens yet. I might send it back or sell it. Uh, it seemed to search and hunt where the Viltrox 85 didn't. 
Uh, so that was one point of comparison. Um, for performance, what I would like to test out on this next is using it with the R5's firmware update for vehicle recognition. I would love to use this on auto action shots as well as uh, people recognition to use it for sports photography. Um, I think this would do a, a pretty amazing job. And so I'm looking forward to testing that out next. Also, next up, I'm gonna test this compared to the RF 28 to 70 for portraits and the RF 50 1.8 for portraits. At 399, it's one of the least expensive RF lenses out there. It's the least expensive RF 85 out there, and it's a great value. Um, it's a lens you should definitely check out. All right, that's it. Boom, check it out. Boop, 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 boop. Shit.